Hi guys, it's Emily from Novel Novels and welcome to today's video. This is my gratitude journal, March 2023. Now, I'm filming this on the 22nd of March because the week that this goes live is going to be absolutely insane. So, in some ways, maybe I should start at the fact that what's happening, what would have happened the day before this goes live. The day before this goes live, I would have gone to London with my sister Charlie from Charlie Book Reads for Katie from Katie and Books and Things book launch for her new book, which I am super excited about, which is The Secrets of Hartwood Hall. I'm debating whether you'll get a video that we'll be filming on the day because also, not just, not am I just going to London with my sister, we're meeting up with some booktube, some of my booktube besties. We're meeting up with Jack from Spread Book Joy, Gem from Gemma Books, and Alice from Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. We're all meeting up early. We would have all met up by the time. I know I'm talking pre. This is going to really mix up the whole tenses, but yes, we'll be going there, travelling down there in Charlie's car at the moment, I believe. You'll see at the near the time. You'll know before I do whether this is going to happen. Um, and then we're meeting up with them, we're having lunch, we're having dinner at Pizza Express. As far as I know, Jack's booked the table. I'm going to finally meet Katie from Books and Things. Now, before I do any more, I want to thank Katie from Books and Things because she has invited all of us to this book launch. It's a bit of a booktube. I believe there's other booktubes going. She's been chatting to me on Instagram. Her book is going to be a book that I'm reading for a readathon, which you'll be hearing about in the next couple of weeks, which we do. I will already let you know it's about chronic pain and invisible disabilities. This title is to be announced very soon. So, yeah, I'm reading her book for that. So that that is something I'm very, very excited about. I can't wait to go. I'm nervous about going to London because I've not been to London in a very long time. But because Charlie's driving us, I feel a lot safer. Even though I'm driving slightly insane, she's amazing and I love my sister. And going with her means I can actually tackle my fears and do it. So that's something massive to be grateful for is that thanks to my great sister, I am going to have the courage to go and do that. And I can't wait to meet Jack for the first time and see Gem and Alice again. Oh, I just love my friends. I'm so excited. So yeah, so that's literally the most recent thing. Now let's start at the start of the month and do things back in the order that I had planned. So obviously you all know it was my birthday month. So one of the first things that I did on my birthday month was go to Casper's with one of my friends, one of my besties, Tracy. I ate way too much dessert. I had a big chocolate waffle and it was amazing. There wasn't any other, the only thing I would say is there wasn't really many sort of drinks that for those, there wasn't any alcohol, which is never good. And there wasn't many sort of drinks for those of you that didn't want sort of like froths and milky drinks. And because obviously I, I have a lactose problem, I can't have too much dairy or it'll make me sick, so... Yeah, but then we went and did some clothes shopping, sort of looked at clothes and we went to the shops. I think I bought like one book, which was good for me. Yeah, you'll see my you'll see my book haul in one of the next videos. I'm only showing a few books in this video. But she bought me because she knows me and my alcohol. And as soon as I'm getting my chronic pain in order, I can go back on the gin. And she bought me this great gin selection, which has got, we've got cinnamon apple, Passion fruit and pomegranate, rose flower and raspberry, elderflower and lime and lemon, rhubarb and ginger. I don't know which one of these to start. For those of you gin lovers out there, which one should I start with? I've got a gin glass and another thing, so yeah, I'm gin sorted for the next year or two because I only have like one glass of gin a week, one or two, you know, depending. But you know, it was really lovely going out with her for the afternoon. I got a bit dressed up. We had a really good time, and we've planned another one for I think the middle. To the end of April, because April's half April's Easter holidays and Thomas's birthday. Yeah, I've got that coming up. <laughs> Just after this, I'm like I said, we're doing the London thing. A week later, I'm going with the other gem from the previously read a book gem. We're going to Wokingham again. This is what I'm letting myself in for. But at least that month, I've only got one Wokingham trip. March, I had two, which I'll talk about in a minute. Before I talk about all the book trips, my sister Vicky got kittens for her birthday. And I can't remember if I spoke about them in the last video, but she picked them up just at the end of the month. They're called Misty and Marbles. They're Persian Blues and they are absolutely gorgeous. I am a bit like nervous because they're so tiny, but Charlie has definitely taken to be an auntie with them and they have brought so much joy to my sister and the whole family. Mia absolutely loves them. Thomas only met them once and fell in love with one of them. 
Me has literally got one of them up around the little finger already. And they are gorgeous. They brighten Vicky up. And we don't talk about things that make us happy. Things that make my sisters and my family and my friends happy makes me happy. And Vicky has had one hell of a shit time over the years. And it is so nice to see her so happy. And her husband's been really lovely. And watching her, like, come out of her shell as a mum to kittens. I think that's something we always forget. We always talk about mums with human babies. But their babies, be it kittens, dogs, whatever else, they bring so, so much joy. And like I said, they're really brightening Vicky up. And to see her face is just amazing. And also, it's also brought Charlie her kids, my mum, all of us, it's just, they've literally brought joy to the whole family. So thank you, Marky, you really cheered us up. You don't want to watch this, but you know, I'm thanking him anyway. So it was my birthday on the 9th. I thought I'm only going to show you two of the books that I've got as presents and two of the books I bought in the charity shop hills, because obviously you're going to be seeing my big book haul. Although, it is the 22nd, and apart from those big hauls on those big two two big shopping days, I've only bought the old book, so I may actually not. Be, I may actually be able to get my own TBR down a little bit. I'm doing that. I'm at Baz Books tomorrow, so. But I'm still. I said like I might only let like, myself get one book because I really want to be good. Last week I went to the shop and I didn't buy a single bloody book. How much of a miracle is that? But I am out away from Baz Books for two weeks in the Easter holidays because. With the kids, I don't work. I don't do my voluntary job in Easter holidays. I've managed to book time off for my paid job for the Easter holidays. So going forward, the Easter holidays, yeah, it's Thomas's birthday on the 7th. So that'll be something to be grateful for. And we booked him a party. So, sorry, talking about the future again. What am I doing? But let me show you some of the non-bookish presents that I've got. Because they are just as special. You'll obviously be seeing the books in the book haul. But I thought I wanted to show you some of the non-bookish presents I got. So, first one is I've got some wireless earbuds from Chris. I need to be using them a bit more because they'll be good. Uh, so, down, but battery's down to 41%. I need to probably charge that up soon. But I think Mia needs to tell me when you charge these up because I honestly don't know how soon I need to charge them up for. But yeah, he got me those. So then when I'm out and about and when I'm walking or when I'm doing some housework and I need my phone on me, actually, it might be handy to use these today. I'm good. I can use these, and also when I'm walking to work, they're a lot better. The old wired by this head, wired headphones were a nightmare. So he bought me these. They're in a beautiful like rose pink. I don't like two like, I don't like certain colours of pink, but I do like the rosy gold pink. So that's absolutely beautiful. He bought me those, and he did buy me lunch at Wagga Mamas. He took trip me to Wagga Mamas with like a takeaway that evening. He spoiled me rotten. He was lovely as he carried all my books. He was really sweet. We had such a lovely time. I did buy loads of books and he bought me a couple, which I can't remember which ones he bought me. What? I'll tell you those in the book haul. So he got me that. Ali, I got books, like I said, I got book parcels, which you know me. I had all these parcels that arrived before my birthday and I didn't actually open them to my birthday because Alice was on the book police and she wouldn't let me buy anything. She wouldn't let me open them. She was like, no, you're not opening them. So I've got presents from my book, oh, both of the, the girls. But Alice sent me this homemade little mini sweep, which Sweet actually loves. It's a little crochet. Seriously, it's one of the sweetest presents. And it's on my like DVD shelf next to my bed, next to my um cozy chair. So Sweet gets to kiss it regularly and I get to look at it. So that's one of the sweetest things, as well as she got me um a couple of books. It's just like and the sweetest card and like a postcard. And I'm like, I should have brought my postcards down, but they've all got me postcards. Maybe I might include them in the book call. Cool. Yeah, she, her and Jack both got me a little postcard each, which is so perfect. Then Charlie got, I got um, some gifts by my family to help with the Reynards because obviously that's been playing up. Um, not bad today because the cold, it's weather started to be a bit less cold, so my fingers are getting better. But Charlie bought me some thermal gloves, but this was the thing that, oh my God, this was actually, I don't know if it's more expensive than, but you can see it's got my name on it. Where's my name? Oh, I don't know, my name's there. Is it my name? Little hedgehog with books. It's on my bookshelf in my room, and this was so sweet. Like the thermal gloves was her practical present that her husband Richard, who was like the best brother-in-law you could ever wish for. Although all my brother, both my brother-in-laws are amazing at the moment. But yeah, she got me that and the, the amazing thermal socks. Vic, um, thermal gloves. Vicky, my younger sister, got me these special. They're purple, which is special, and they're special heat holder socks. 
and part of the Raynards is my fingers and my toes get very cold and these were very expensive so she got me these and a couple of face and some face masks because I love doing face masks with Mia so I wear these when my Raynards is playing up so thank you Vicky. Jack got me some books and got me some face masks as well and got me this gorgeous bar of chocolate it's I also got chocolate bars from Mia's, Mia's best, one of Mia's best friend Rose, who bought me a big bar of chocolate and I bought myself some before that. So this is going to be eaten by the before this goes live. But Dime Dairy Milk is one of my favourites. So I don't know how she knows that. They all know me too well. I love, love, love that. And then my mum got me a book, which you'll see in the book haul, which is a book I requested. And she got me this gorgeous hoodie. I needed a pale coloured hoodie for, um, because I've got to think about like wearing colours. And I'm really getting into like certain spring colours and this is perfect. It's really fleecy and warm. It's the right size. It's got the big glove thing there. Oh my God, I love it. I'm wearing that tomorrow when I go to Baz Books. So that was like a mum, that was my mum's present. And she was also just a typical mum. She's been really sweet. I was poorly done like yesterday, the day before I filmed this, um, with Tommy Bug. And she, looked, she was literally at the end of the phone every time I needed her. She was absolutely incredible. So, those are the presents that are non-bookish. I'll show you two of my bookshoe presents. I'm not being fussy as to who, who bought me what, but I also got presents from Danny and, like, loads of people. I was so, so grateful for my book present. Jack got me this one, which is The House of the Golden Door. I'm literally, I screamed when I got this because all of the presents were are perfect and I'm so bloody grateful. This is, I've ju literally just read The Wolf Den and it was absolutely perfect. I need to put the Temple of Fortuna on my Amazon wish list because I can't wait for this. This will not get waited for very long. I've got, like I said, May, I've now got readers on. So I think like it's June that I'm going to be able to start reading my new releases. But this is perfect. Although actually I say that, but May, this book is perfect for May because it's a women's prize one that I wanted to get. And I've wanted this for ages. Maggie O'Farrell, the women's, the marriage portrait. Not, sometimes, I don't like hardbacks often because they are heavy to hold but have you seen oh i like the gift cards snake on that and look at that look at that how literally this is one of i i get some like hardbacks that are stunning and this was friggin i'm not joking it is absolutely sodding gorgeous i cannot wait to read this i'm reading about and it's just perfect present so charlie from Charles Heathcote got me that and it is just so stunning. It's unbelievable. I just, oh, can't wait. It's up for the women's prize. Can't wait. So I've got loads of other booktube books, book presents. So you'll see those again in my book haul and I can't wait to show them. I'm just like literally screaming. So I did go on two different Wokingham trips, one with Chris on my birthday and one with Charlie the week after. I thought I'd show you one book from each haul because I don't want this. This isn't just about books. This is about being grateful for a lot of other things. But one book I did get was Verity by Colleen Hoover, which is a Colleen Hoover only thriller, I believe. And it is one that I've wanted for a while and I found it in a charity shop for a pound. You guys would have already seen that I did my charity shop video, which was where I'm talking about bargains that I found. But this was a threat. I'm a bit hit and miss with thrillers, but I've heard that this is actually one of Colleen Hoover's best works. A thriller that will keep you up all night and a twist that will leave you reeling. Lorraine Ashley is a struggling writer on the brink of financial ruin when she accepts a job offer of a lifetime. Excuse me. Jeremy Crawford, the husband of best-selling author Verity Crawford, has hired Lorraine to complete the remaining books in a successful series his injured wife is unable to finish. Don't want to know too much. This looked amazing. I got it. And then books that I bought when I was out with Charlie I did treat myself and you'll see a book that I bought full price in W.H. Smith which I've never done that I've never gone into W.H. Smith but it was actually a half price book and it, it was a book that I wanted but this I saw and I've been debating it in several times I've been to the charity shops but I gave in and bought it it's Echo Mountain by Lauren Walk it's a child it's a middle grade like fantasy book and Jem from Gemma Books has said that she liked it she read it with her son Sam and just it's been drawing me so I sort of sod it and buy it last time by the time our first mountain winter came we had a snug safe home where we could start again but that was before my father's accident changed everything don't want to know anymore this does look really good so I treated myself to that 
Charlie did buy me a book in that haul, so I'll tell you that in a bit. Um, yeah, we had that. So obviously I did my book shopping with Chris, which was great, apart from that it was bloody raining. And then the week later I went with Charlie. So I'm going to really say that I was very grateful. We had a morning together. We met up about sort of half nine-ish and we were together until 12, which is like three hours of solid Charlie time. I bloody loved it. I cannot describe, when I say she is my best friend in the world, she blooming is, if you are not subscribed to her channel and you are to mine, where the bloody hell not, because she is one in a freaking million. Like, literally, we had so much fun. We laughed to the point where our sides were fitting. We cried about some soppy stuff. And we talked and we bought books and we encouraged each other. She didn't buy anything, but typical, she's, she's a good one. I'm not, I'm the naughty one. I've always been the naughty one in the family. Trust me, I'm like the demon, devil horns. She is absolutely bloody amazing. So yeah, I'm just like so grateful for her. So yeah, we had such a brilliant morning. So I bought, I did buy some books, but I didn't buy as many on each of those shopping trips as I thought I would. So we had fun. Then we had Mother's Day, which was last Sunday. Chris got me... Well, Chris got it for me. I ordered it. Mum, which is from my friend from Spotty Dotty Reads. If you're in Bracknell or local, Spotty Dotty is, um, and it's on Facebook, Spotty Dotty Creations, I think it's called. Um, and it's my friend Rachel makes homemade stuff. And she got, she was making these. And I made my, got my mum one that said Glynn, my mum's name. And I got this pinky girly one. It's only five. That's, that's good. Chris got me that. And um, the kids got me some flowers from school. I got, um, a massive Mother's Day card, which is absolutely massive. And Thomas made me a homemade card. And Mia made me this little coffee cup with like a little thing. She said, she said, you're the best mum in the whole world. Thanks you for always taking care of us and always being there for me. Love you. That was my little Mia thing. But one of the best things of the day was the fact that, oh, uh, I'm dropping it, was the fact that um, I didn't have to do hardly anything. Chris made me lunch, which is one of the first times in like 20 years we've been together, nearly 20 years. Um, he made me lunch, he made the kids lunch, he did all the washing up and wiping up for the whole day. I did a homemade bolognese for all of us in the evening, which was fine because it's like homemade bolognese is really easy and it's one of my favourite meals. We had that, I had a family time, I, I was literally in my joggers for the day, which for me doesn't sound like much. But he went to his mum's because I didn't really want to travel, I just wanted to be at home and I went and saw my mum and spent some time with my mum. Again, what more could I ask? It was a lovely, lovely day, he did everything for me and i just i'm so grateful the kids were really sweet they were cuddling me i had the day off work it was just everything i could dream about and um yeah they spoiled me um lastly i think i want to say obviously obviously we've got um the readathon that i'm hosting with naomi from naomi's what a book why can i not remember naomi's channel i will link naomi's channel down below I have got, we've got a bingo board for it. I created the bingo board and it sounds like a really silly thing to be grateful for, but I have never done anything creative like this. On previous readathons with everyone else, I've got everyone else to do creative work. But this time I wanted to do it myself because I'm sort of leading it kind of thing. Me and, me and Naomi have got the prompts and I was able to make the bingo board and I had Alice from Alice's Giant Bookshelf helping me in our like, she WhatsApp chat, she was helping me do it and she was checking it out. So I wanted to say thank you for Alice for helping me. And I did it. That was something I'd done like a personal triumph. I've really got my anxiety under control. And I'm saying that. And then this week is going to be, yeah, the week that this goes live, I've got, I've been having to swap shifts. No, I'm not having to. My lovely, lovely manager, Ryan, is, has swapped my shift. So I'm not working the day after the London trip. I'm not working the day this goes live. Um, So I'm working on the Monday. I've got Tuesday to film my book haul, which will be up next week. I think, yeah, working out. And then I've got Wednesday's normal day, Thursday obviously with London, Friday this goes live and the kids have got a half day and then I've got Thomas has got a birthday party and then Saturday, the day after this, I've got to go and get Thomas's birthday present and some shopping. I'm kind of hoping I can manage it all. No, I'm, I'm happy now because I've rearranged, I'm supposed to be going out with Gemma on, this, on the Saturday after but we've swapped it for a week later so I'm getting things under control but I am looking after myself and I'm learning at the moment just to take things up a little bit more steady and yeah i'm enjoying my books and i'm um, having a good one I'm, it's been a good month april like i said we've got things going forward we've got thomas's birthday we've got easter um and i'm going with Gemma at the start of the month and then yeah i think that's quite a quite a childish month mia's gonna be studying for her sat so i've got a bit of nagging mum a little bit 
that's April going forward. I've got a lot to be grateful for. I will link all the channels that I mentioned down below, but tell me in the comments below. I know this, these videos don't always necessarily do amazingly, but I wanted to bring some positivity in. I wanted to be grateful and let me know in the comments down below. What are you grateful for? I would love to know. Hope you all have a good April. I hope you have lots of people to be grateful for in April. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, not sure, bring on my dignity and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.